Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. This is Aishwarya. Please like and subscribe the channel for the further updated videos. The following video is for class 5, subject EVS Environmental Studies, lesson 13, Amazing Energy, part 3. Now, in part 1 and 2 of this lesson, we learned about what is energy. We require energy to do work. To do any kind of work, we require energy. Then we learnt different forms of energy and their uses. That is muscular energy, mechanical energy, heat energy, solar energy, wind energy, stored energy of water, electrical energy, bioenergy, chemical energy, fuel energy. Out of these, the first few of them we already learned in the previous classes. So, we will continue with the lesson now. In the wind energy, we learned how wind energy is, is used for sailing the boats and in the uh, wind wheel, isn't it? Then there is one activity given to you. Make a wind wheel and enjoy running by holding it. You know to make a wind wheel, right? It's very easy. Wind has enormous energy. By using this energy, many works could be done. Naturally available wind is used as energy and we must learn to protect ourselves from the disaster disasters caused by rain. Next is the stored energy of water. Why is it told as stored energy of water? The water is always flowing. It cannot stay in one place. We have to make it stay in one place. We have to store it in one place. Then only we can use the water for different purposes. So, flowing water is a source of energy. I will be reading from page number 171. Uh, Please, if you have the textbook, please follow children. So, flowing water is a source of energy. In order to use as a source of energy, a dam has to be built across a river and water must be stored. Okay, in a it, in it, the water is stored in the dams. Okay, you can see the dam, the picture of the dam given on your screen as well as in your textbook. So, this stored water contains potential energy okay so stored water is allowed to flow from the higher level um, to fall on the turbines okay down there be big turbines turbines means it look like huge fans okay fans are in the different direction so due to force exerted by running water turbines rotate fast and produce electricity these are called the hydroelectric power generating station what are they called as hydro hydro means water electric the current power generating station it is the place where the electricity is produced with the help of the water okay then so this is about the stored energy stored water is allowed to flow from higher level to fall on the turbines due to the force excreted exerted by running water turbines rotate fast and produce electricity these are called hydroelectric power generating stations now in your textbook in page number 172 write the names of dams dams you know and put a check mark to the ones you have visited for your help i have given some list of major dams in india that is bhavani sagar dam it is in tamil nadu river bhavani tungabhadra dam karnataka it is for the river tungabhadra rihad dam uttar pradesh rihand mithun dam jharkhand barakhar koina dam maharashtra for the river koina bisalpur dam rajasthan Ban banas Mithur Dam, Tamil Nadu, Kaveri River. Krishna Rajasagar Dam, Karnataka, Kaveri River. So, these are some of the rivers that you can write in your textbook as well as stick the ones that you must have visited. Especially you must have visited the Krishna Rajasagar Dam which is in Mysore, isn't it? Then, 
now these are the different ways to produce the uh, use the stored water as the energy now energy produced by ocean tides is called the tidal energy naturally available water is very precious hence it must be used moderately the electricity which is produced with the more efforts and expense should also be used moderately and energy should be conserved we have to conserve the energy you should not just waste it not you should not leave the light on whenever you want when you're leaving the room you should turn off the light and you should save the electricity right to situations where we can save electricity okay i i have told you one situation already one more situation you can write on your own okay reservoirs producing hydroelectric are called hydroelectric power generating stations next is the electrical energy what is electrical energy nowadays most of our daily work is being easily done with the help of electricity isn't it now you have you have to wash the clothes in the, if you have to wash it by hand it becomes more difficult but if you use the washing machine washing clothes will be much more easier it is possible to do more work in less time using electricity now write any four work done using electrical appliances in your homes okay what you can write washing machine uh, what work the work work is done washing clothes then refrigerator uh, freezing food items okay then iron box used for ironing or pressing so electricity is supplied to your houses and other places from the electric power uh, electric power generating stations now electrical sta appliances must be used carefully next is bioenergy so what is bioenergy the gas produced by decaying agricultural waste plant residues animal dung etc in the absence of air is called biogas so what is biogas i repeat again the gas produced by decaying agricultural waste plant residue animal dung etc in the absence of air is called as the biogas it is used for cooking it is you it can be used as the for the cooking in the house in the kitchen okay how we use the lpg gas just like that the connection can be brought from outside and we can use it for cooking anything the energy available from biogas can be converted into electricity and may be used for many works so this is one uh, picture of the bioenergy the gas where the bioenergy biogas is been generated all the waste you no know, they will dump it inside this and they will keep it covered all the time so by decaying the it is the biogas is generated understood next is the chemical energy what is chemical energy chemical energy is produced by the chemical reaction that takes place in in the substances now certain substances when we mix them it goes on some chemical changes will happen and it will produce electricity okay so the chemical reaction in the electric cell produces the electricity you can light a bulb using the cell right that cell has the positive and the negative terminal from which we can use the connectivity and we can use it to light a small bulb okay that is that way it is the like the stored energy it is the stored electrical energy so i will stop the class here In the next class we will learn about fuel energy and uh, how the change of energy from one form to another and the conservation of energy i hope you have understood till here children stay at home stay safe take care of yourself and keep learning children thank you